today we are interviewing Chloe. Chloe is our scientist in residence here at Mern Central College. Let's find out what she does. What does being a scientist in residence mean? So we're trying something different at Mernda Central, which is this completely new idea called a scientist in residence. So most students have a science teacher, but at this school you have a science teacher and your scientist in residence. So your scientist in residence is me and I'm a scientist and I come into the classes right across the school do a whole heap of different things from extra experiments with students to talking to them about what it's like to be a scientist and to work in different science fields to learning about heaps of other different things. What does a chocolate scientist do? Oh, so one of the other things I do outside of school is I'm a chocolate scientist and different chocolate scientists will do different things but what I look at doing is how to use chocolate in different ways and how to set it. So I've used chocolate as artwork, I've set chocolate using liquid nitrogen and I've tried to make different types of, oh, different types of like sculptures with chocolate. What made you think of being a scientist? When I was at school, I really loved learning how things work and why things happen the way they do and definitely doing lots of experiments, which meant science was a good choice for me. What did you do before coming to MCC? Before I came to MCC, I did a few different things. I've worked in schools right across Victoria. I have travelled around Australia doing chocolate science. And I've worked in several different science and engineering research labs, doing a whole heap of different things from learning how to make needleless vaccines to how to make different implants for the body, like um, pacemakers and ECG machines, to looking at how the different molecules that are in our body, what they actually look like and what their structure is. So I've worked in a few different places. Who did you work with? I've worked with a few different places. I've worked with the Department of Education, CSIRO, which is the Commonwealth Scientific Industrial Research Organisation. And I've worked with the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute, which are a medical research institute, and the University of Melbourne. What did you have to do to become a scientist? So to become a scientist, it meant I had to always keep asking questions about why things happen and how things work. I did science and math in years 11 and 12 and right through school and then I went off to university where I studied a Bachelor of Science, an Honours Degree in Science and a Masters of Engineering. 